due to their bravery in standing up to U.S.-backed Israel in their war against the Gazan civilian population. Yemen was bombed last night over 60 locations by the United States and the UK. For anyone who'd like to defend the actions of the imperialists, I'd like to read for you a quote from Hermann Goring, a very famous Adolf H. guy uh, at the Nuremberg trials in 1946. He says, naturally, the common people don't want war, neither in Russia nor in England, nor in America, nor, for that matter, in Germany. That is understood. The people can always be brought to the bidding of their leaders. That is easy. All you have to do is tell them they are being attacked and denounce the pacifists for lack of patriotism and exposing the country to danger. It works the same in any country. So don't get played by the war profiteers as they repeat the same lies and use the same tricks they do every single time. Has Biden violated the U.S. Constitution by bombing Yemen? Hmm. Lawmakers say Biden should have sought permission from Congress before launching strikes on Houthi sites. The article goes into some details about the bombing campaign and then it comes here. What is Article 1 of the U.S. Constitution? Article 1 of the U.S. Constitution requires that war be authorized by Congress. In the lead-up to this week's strikes on Yemen, Biden notified Congress of the strikes but did not seek authorization. The article has long been, been understood to be a mechanism for checking and regulating the president's power to wage war. 